Hello everybody and welcome back to our learning German blog. And first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody who is watching my videos, who leaves a comment, uh, who supports my channel, you know, who buys my online courses, uh, who helps me to create all this stuff. You know. Thank you, thank you to everybody. Because it's my last video of this year and so we talk about New Year's. So it's called in German Silvester. You know, the uh, 31st of December it's called Silvester. So what is typical? What people do during Silvester? One really, really strange thing is people go and buy their own fireworks. Normally it's not allowed to have fireworks during the year, but just on this day it's allowed. And the law says you can light your fireworks from uh, midnight the 21st or from 30th to uh, 31st midnight uh, straight 48 hours until midnight from the 1st to the 2nd of January. But most city they change this a law and uh, for example in Berlin I guess you just can light your fireworks from 6 in the evening to 7 in in the morning the next day. But everybody does it and people spend a lot of money to do this and if you're in a big city or if you're somewhere you will see a really big fireplace all over the city because everybody midnight goes out and light the firework. No? A really nice experience. No? Feuerwerk, firework. For uh, Sylvester mm, you meet normally with your friends. Mm, you stay in, at somebody's home and then you eat raclette. It's like several little pans uh, to uh, cook your food and you prepare like vegetables, meat, what else? And then you cook it by yourself at the table. So you sit around the table, you cook it, you chat, you have fun, you drink, you eat. You know? It's a, it's a long process and it's really famous for uh, New Year's and so it's called raclette. You know? Maybe you are invited one day to a German uh, Sylvester party um, and then you will try it, I'm pretty sure. And there's one other tradition. Uh, so let's take a closer look. Here we have uh, some kind of metal. You heat it up, you melt it and then you throw it into cold water and then you take it out and then it's your interpretation. So how will your future go? So if it looks like a coin, maybe somebody will say, ah, you will be rich next year. If it looks like a heart, maybe you say, ah, you will find a new boyfriend or girlfriend, you know? And so it's free of interpretation. It's funny, you no? Know? So maybe, uh, when you go to Germany, you should try. And obviously, when it's midnight, we drink sect. It's champagne, but in Germany it's called sect. And the most famous brand is Rotkäppchen. So normally people drink this, it's sect, and you fill it up, and you cheers with everybody, and you celebrate. And the interesting thing is, in Germany one important thing, you wish somebody just a happy new year after midnight. No? And in German you say ein gesundes neues Jahr. A healthy, a healthy year. Okay? Ein gesundes neues Jahr. No? And before midnight you wish actually einen guten Rutsch. No? So that you enter well in, into the new year. So einen guten Rutsch and after midnight Ein gesundes neues Jahr. Okay, that's all. I wish you now, because it's my last video, einen guten Rutsch. And I see you next year. Thank you very much. And please don't forget, 1, 2, 3 Deutsch ist das Beste für euch. Tschüss.